we're here at a trade show called SEMA. It's the Specialty Equipment Market Association trade show in Las Vegas with the Duck Dynasty man himself, How Willie are Robertson. You? Good to see Good you. Good to see you. What you have done with your family's company, I know your dad started it, yeah. but it truly is a dynasty at this point. I'll tell you what, it keeps getting bigger and bigger, and uh, we're just proud. We're trying to hang on to the freight train while it's rolling. Yeah. And, uh, you know, my dad started this company in 1972, the year I was born, and, uh, you know, he put a lot of hard work and patience into his duck call, and he, he just wanted to have a duck call for the average hunter. And uh, I took over as a CEO uh, about 10 years ago, and we've done all right. So what did you do? Where did you dig into yourself and find that CEO? Because, I mean, you didn't go to school to be a CEO. I, I'm, I think I was just the last man standing that, uh, that had some sort of credentials uh, in business. And I always kind of had a flair for business. And, uh, you know, I saw what Dad had done. And when I came in, I just really wanted to uh, connect the dots of what he had done. And I always wanted him to be in the spotlight for what he did and all the chances he took. And uh, he did all the heavy lifting. By the time I got it, I just kind of connect a few things and uh, it doesn't hurt when you have uh, uh, the most watched show in the history of cable reality show that helps a lot that'll help business that's a business also that you're also having to oversee the the hundreds of millions of dollars I imagine that are coming out of that well it is a business and I had to kind of immerse myself into that business and figure out television and how do you monetize it make money and you know and also put out a great show and really from the start we just wanted to put out a positive show that a family could sit around and watch. And it seemed like to me there just wasn't a lot of those shows left. And so um, it was funny, too. I mean, the show's got to be funny. And so, you know, our family's always been naturally funny and good storytellers and uh, a little bit odd and eccentric. And uh, we put all that together, and uh, I think uh, the viewing audience likes it. Well, you know what? And adding in virtues and values and religion and all that, I don't think that hurts you, even though it's controversial. But at the end of the day, controversy can be good, right? Well, we are who we are. And yep. so, you know, whether or not people liked us or not, we would continue to be and live our lives like we do. And, you know, really they're based off the Bible and they're based off our, you know, faith and our traditions and what we like. And it's kept this family together. So no matter what, I mean, I think people can, even if your family's not like our family, you can aspire to be there. At least to sit down at the end of the day, have a meal together, say a prayer. And we thought that was positive and it really made that impact in America. You know what? It, it shows that it is alive and well, right? Right. So as far as, you know, business and you're here in the Line X booth, and I know that you actually work with a lot of sponsors that you use their product in your everyday life. Well, we've been in professional hunting our whole lives, and so we make our livings off hunting. So we, our products have to be good. They have to be durable. And uh, we have a relationship with Line X, and they came out with, you know, what we thought was the perfect vehicle is you, you, you cover it with, you know, this this armor we can drive through the woods yeah. and trees and mud and, uh, and we feel good our vehicles are protected and I have a lot of sponsors here that uh, that I go see and when I'm out in Vegas for this show and it's just a great show to be at and just go and see and see the new products and yeah, it's yeah. fun you know it's being out here and seeing what uh, redneck guys like us like to play with <laughs> exactly you're representing companies you got to make sure that they are also you know, they hold those same values of quality and everything that you guys represent. Well, they do. I mean, and, and really, Linex has been that company. I was the same way. I used to use these guys way yeah. back in the day. And uh, so we were tickled to death to do this Duck Commander series, you know, and have a line of trucks that really represented our values and, and our our hunting, which is hardcore, you know, and put it with Linex. What a great name and company, and it's worked out great. And so, yeah, I just get to walk around and see all the cool products and the nice vehicles, and that's uh, fun. What's next for Duck Dynasty? I mean, you do have a dynasty now. <laughs> oh, we got a couple of tricks up our sleeve. We got a couple of things we're working on that will be coming out soon that we're really excited about. And, of course, we're still filming the show. The new season's fixing to start. And uh, so it's always fun making the show and, uh, you know, film with family. My daughter said he's on Dancing with the Stars. So that's put me in L.A. a lot on the weekend. Yeah. So, yeah, we live a busy life. I have Buck Commander, my other TV show on Outdoor Channel uh, that I'm participating in right now. So, uh a lot of stuff, man. It's a it's a busy life. Congratulations on your success. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I appreciate it. Willie Robertson.